This video is going to review transformations of functions. So your rules for transformations of functions you should have learned in Algebra 1. The f of x is any function, so it could be something like y equals x squared, and then the plus k is a number, so like plus 5. So whenever there's a plus on the outside, like you see here, that graph or that function moves up k units. Whenever there's a minus on the outside, it's going to move down k units. When it's on the inside, it's going to move left and right. So that would look something like this, y equals x plus 5 squared. And inside is always opposite. So plus is going to actually move to the left. And minus is going to move to the right. When there is a negative in front, it would look something like this. y equals negative x squared. That's a reflection over the x-axis. And then when there's a minus on the inside, it's a reflection over the y-axis. That we don't see too often. And then when there's a number in front, something like y equals 3x squared, the number in front is a vertical stretch or shrink. If the number is larger than 1, it's going to be a vertical stretch. If the number is between 0 and 1, oops, if the number is between 0 and 1, it's going to be a shrink. Okay, so something like a 3 is a stretch, and then something like 1 half is going to be a shrink. So let's look at some examples. Explain how the graphs of the equations below are related to the graph of the parent function. So parent function just means your original function without any transformation. So in this one, my parent function would be y equals the absolute value of x. So we have a minus 1, so that means it's moving down one unit. In number two, my parent function is y equals x cubed, and I have this plus 5 on the outside, so it's moving up 5 units. My parent function for number three would be y equals the square root of x, so there are actually two things happening here. I have this negative on the outside and this plus 4 on the inside. So the plus 4 on the inside is going to be a shift left 4 units. And then the negative on the outside is a reflection over the x-axis. Number 4 my parent function would be y equals x squared, and I have this minus 3 on the inside, so that is going to be a shift right 3 units. Now they want us to write the equation for the given transformation. So, I have y equals x squared, move 7 units down. So if it's moving down, it's on the outside. So y equals x squared minus 7. Number 6, the square root of x move 10 units to the left. So if I'm moving to the left, I'm inside. Or in this case, I'm underneath the radical. 
So g of x equals the square root of x. Remember that inside is opposite, so left is going to be plus 10. Number 7, I have k of x equals 3 to the x. Move 4 units up. That's going to be on the outside. So k of x equals 3 to the x plus 4. And number 8, f of x equals the absolute value of x reflected over the x-axis and move two units to the right. So remember the right is inside. So f of x equals my negative is going to be in front for the reflection over the x-axis. And then it's going to be x minus 2. So that's a review of transformations of functions and the rules. Remember that inside is always opposite. Outside is up and down. Inside is horizontal, but opposite.